So, I was, had previously been working in Sweden uh, as a British Centre teacher and I entered in 1958 into Stockholm where I had a, a training course. And this really is a very similar training, type of training course uh, for teaching English as uh, John Haycraft had devised uh, in Spain and again in London and developed it further. So teaching uh, uh, adults in Sweden and uh, but only, not only Swedes but of course all kinds of nationalities who uh, came into Sweden as refugees and whatnot. Um, and we were trained in Stockholm and went out and taught adults and in schools, which I did for three years and became a teacher trainer myself in my third year. So I then came back uh, to, to Brighton because I was working for the, the University of Stockholm, which, which was extramural board, ran this, ran this course uh, together with three remarkable people. Uh, one was Peter Hammerberg. Uh, who was given a MB, uh, rather an OB in fact, uh, who was the director of the British Centre. Ian Dunlop, who was uh, the, the main teacher trainer and, uh, and a very popular television teacher of English on television and the most popular man in Sweden for three years running on Swedish television. And uh, Tony Abrahams, uh, who was a, a nephew of Howard Abrahams, who was famous uh, because of uh, the film and, and uh, running in the Olympics in 1924. So the three, uh, we, the, the three were asked me to, to, to form a school in Brighton, which I did. Tony Abrahamson said, well, Glenn, uh, there was some regulation in standards going on in the in the, the, the holding of uh, summer courses and of lots of language schools in Britain. Uh, but what we really need to do in order to establish a, a new profession is to have a, a, a proper course leading to a qualification in TEFL. And I, I wrote, uh, I think, on one side of paper uh, of thoughts about this, which went to, to Tony Abrahams and then uh, off to the Royal Society of Arts. Strangely enough, John Haycraft did the same thing. So these courses uh, and the, the ideas were, were given to the RSA and Hazel Orchard, who was uh, one of my teachers in fact in Brighton, was at the RSA and was given the responsibility for, for managing the first RSA certificate course in the early 1960s. So that's really how it started with an establishment of, of, a, of, a, of a properly recognised um, qualification as a teacher. 